What's up everyone? I have a 5 hamster win for you today. Today we're doing this a little bit differently. We are watching a replay while doing this live. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do I really hope that you subscribe. So let's hop into the replay. We are playing this on the new star pack of course. The start isn't perfect but we are looking for some cell pads that we can potentially level up. I'll show you why in a little bit. Hopefully this time we don't lose. It's looking like we will, but uh, actually it ends up being a draw because of the strawberry. I really enjoy the new strawberry, buffing the backline and then potentially getting easier draws, so it makes uh, meme runs a little bit easier to perform. So yeah, I kinda like this. Um, this time if we win or lose, it doesn't really matter. In fact, I think it's good for us to have a longer run to establish the 5 of a kind more dominantly. But yeah, it seems like it will be another drum, so good thing for us. We get a level on the Marmoset and it will result in a Capybara. So on tier 2 we are looking for this guy, the base, the bass, however you wanna pronounce it. It's basically a 2 gold chocolate onto the Marmoset and it's very important for us to level up the Marmoset, I will show you why in a little bit. But for now we're trying not to lose, the Salamander is kinda good for that, it gains stats for every cell pet on the team and we have 3 of them. Uh, actually for each level of cell pet, so this is actually going to give it plus 2 plus 2 instead of plus 1 plus 1. And uh, actually all 4 of these pets I believe are cell pets other than the Salamander, so we should be having some amazing stats onto it, let's take a look. Yeah, plus 5 plus 5, it should be easy for us to draw or win. And uh, we indeed do win. So yeah, that's this one strategy that I have discovered to not lose early on. At least against star pack, against other packs I don't know how good it does. Especially because they can take stuff like dolphins and hedgehog in turtle pack. But uh, we are setting up quite nicely. I will show you a little bit of a fun tech that you can use to get multiple level ups on turn. Five, which is going to be very important for you if you're going to go for this. Uh, we draw once again right here, which is incredible. You can see that instead of me uh, selling the basses separately, what we're going to do is that we're going to take a level, get one level up, and now we're going to sell the combined bass onto the Marmoset for yet another level up. We even find a clownfish for that extra bit of statage. Unfortunately, we did not find any of the good tier 4s, but Hawk and Clownfish I think are alright, so I don't feel too bad about taking them. Hawk, especially in the uh, turns 5 and 6, I think is going to be extremely strong, probably taking out any frontline. Let's take a look. Yeah, even an old copy that is 6 7, we just barely managed to take down and we win as a result. So yeah, it looks good. We don't have much of a future right now. I take yet another level up on turn uh, 6 because the tier 4s are just that important in star pack. But uh, we're just going to settle for this double pug right here. It has decent stats, it has an amazing ability and if we manage to level it up I think we'll be very happy. So the reason for us wanting a level 3 Marmoset is coming up in a little bit, in case you don't know what it already is, most of you probably do. But, we are going to be looking at, first of all, a level up that results into nothing, we were hoping for a hamster for the 5 of a kind obviously. But then, I believe we're going to find it on this turn, I'm even going to take it a little bit slow with the replay, here it is, the elk. Uh, the faint ability of the elk, as you can read, is increase the cell value of one random cell friend permanently by, and uh, because of the Marmoset being level 3, this is uh, giving it 3 gold. So we are definitely taking that, maybe even instead of the Capybara, yep. And uh, what is even better than that, the Pug is level 2, so now we have a level 2 elk. So every turn it's going to be giving us 6 cell value on this Marmoset right here. We even still have the Salamander, so it's not a given that we're going to lose, especially not against this team. I might be mistaken though, it's looking kinda scary, but yep, we win easily and uh, we are going to be very happy. The more hearts we can preserve going into the later turns, we are the happier we are going to be. 
we find yet another elk. So that is another 3 cell value onto the marmoset every single turn. And even another one. So now we have even a level up prepared. So what is this? 9 gold onto the marmoset every single turn. Uh, that uh, given if uh, nobody uh, disrupts us, nobody gets us to misposition, stuff like that. We're going to win against, which is incredible. We are greeting so hard right now. I wish we could check out manually how much this um, Marmoset is selling for. Actually, we can. Look at the top right corner right there. It says 18. So 18 gold plus 3 free rolls, basically 21 value of gold when you get to sell this, which is absolutely amazing. Here we find the first hamster of the five of a kind. So we're going to be very happy with that. Some chocolates for the hamster. The higher level hamster we can get it the better because we are going to be scaling it up with one very specific scaler which I think people are now starting to appreciate a little bit more. I think now we are going to start losing however because it is um, like uh, turn 7 or uh, turn 9 rather. We face Tango here who is going for something very similar but his team is a lot stronger. We end up losing, it's okay, we still have hearts to spare. We get another chocolate, not the tier 6 that we're looking for, once again not the tier 6 that we're looking for. Here I even take a platypus, because if you can take a look right here, the marmoset is selling for 27 already. So we're not going to get a full value of the elk, so instead we're just going to take a platypus, which uh, we're going to build the sell value of. And uh, hopefully we find another hamster. Finding another hamster is going to be very good right here because we can start scaling almost immediately on the next turn and here it is. Unfortunately we don't get the free rolls because we don't have the gold but it's perfectly fine. Uh, here I think we might be a little bit mispositioned. Yeah and we get sniped. Both positioning and snipage destroys us. We don't get the extra gold on this turn. But it's fine, Platypus is still 3 gold when you sell it, so that is good enough. Yep, we're looking for the 5 of a kind, third hamster online. We don't need the elk anymore because on this turn we're going to make the big pivot. And here is the scaler in question, the ostrich. You may have seen the ostrich already in my first video on the new star pack. Now it is a scaler. It's considered to be worse than dragon and elephant seal and uh, things like that, like bird of paradise, tier 6 scalers in general. But it is quite fun and it has a very good synergy with the hamster. So that is why I think hamster is going to be the easiest 5 of a kind in the new star pack. We get it up to level 2.3 immediately. We start freezing the tier 6s because that's how the ability works. In case you don't know how it works and didn't bother to read, here it is. For every the 4 tier 6s that you have uh, frozen in the shop, or that you just come across in the shop, the ostrich is going to give the entire team some stats and then roll the shop for you. So it can even be something like a little bit like a gold generator, because it gives you free rolls if you manage to find the tier 6s, which uh, take a look at this, we get a level 3 ostrich immediately because of our ability to save up so much gold with the elk. And now we're going to see its ability pop off. Take a look at this. We have the tier 6 is frozen. We're going to roll. Miraculously, we're actually going to roll into two more ostriches, two more piranhas, which is going to trigger the ability of the ostrich yet again. That does not happen often, but it does feel very rewarding being so lucky that you get some extra stats on top. And uh, right here, I think I make a misplay. I thought that the multiple ostriches get to stack, so we are getting plus 4 plus 4 worth of buffs onto the hamsters. But I believe that is just blatantly false because this is going to roll first and you can see this ostrich right here does not get to roll at all. So we are going to be selling it eventually, it was a bad purchase, but at least it can accumulate some stats in the meantime. And when you are this lucky rolling tier 6s, I don't think it's a problem. So yeah, let's waste 3 gold for no reason, let's buy a chocolate. Chocolate onto hamster is actually very good because it will give you some extra rolls and reset the triggers when you level it up. So yeah, absolutely incredible, here we find another hamster. I roll past the tier 6 because I'm blind apparently, but uh, thankfully we roll into 2 more so it's no big deal. We continue to roll, 
Another hamster level ups are also very important because they give you two tier sixes for the ostrich. And you can see we get to, uh, another trigger of the ability. Absolutely incredible. Sadly no tier sixes here but we still have the chance to find them and scale up some more. We find three of them, one more all for the last one, which we don't find. Best we can do is a blobfish. But yeah, look at our team. Now it is absolutely incredibly started for turn 11. Here we face Metabrusk, who is another YouTuber. He's doing a strawberry build, but unfortunately for him, not good enough. So we win easily. We don't have the gold from the elk anymore, but we do have lots of gold from the hamster rolls, and as you can see, Every single roll is generating us some gold. We're going to take uh, this turn fast now because uh, we are going to be rolling lots and accumulating a lot of stats. So yeah, we just spam chocolates. Eventually we will spam equipment as well. I think pepper is the best thing we can find in the pack, but um, I don't know. Maybe we can cheese out some other food with a Dumbo octopus with this kind of build. But yeah, look at the stats. Stats in the 30s. Soon we will be full 50-50. I have preserved some chocolate so we can um, reset the triggers mid-turn. Here it's a little bit scary. Them summoning multiple salmons. But uh, with our abundance of stats it's no big deal. And yeah, we get to scale some more. Uh, as you can see the method of scaling is not very consistent. That's just the essence of rolling. But it's no big deal. We get to scale up twice, stats in the 40s in the front line. We keep buffing with chocolates and um, yeah, hopefully we get to another level up pretty soon. We find another chocolate, another two pets, which means another ostrich trigger. And uh, here we go, starting off again. This is soon going to get to 50-50, which you love to see. Yep, if we get one more trigger, we are almost there. I think two more triggers of the ostrich ability and we'll be there. Now we're going to start focusing on peppers instead of chocolates. And yeah, look at this. Stats in the... not in the 20s. Uh, the Spinosaurus has to buff them up to the 20s in order for them to stand the chance, but of course they don't. We win once again. And yeah, you can see how dominant this is. I don't really have any words to explain it. It's just super powerful and uh, super fun as well. It is a little bit time consuming, spending 20 gold rolling every single turn, if not even more than that. But yeah, you can see, super fun, we get to uh, scale once again, 250-50s now, another one that is at 49 attack, which we will soon get to 50-52, I believe. And yeah, the only thing we have to worry about right now is actually getting the fifth hamster, and speaking of which, here it is. So yeah, uh, it's actually a little bit dangerous to roll like this because if I do roll multiple tier 6s, the ostrich is going to roll the shop for me. Which means that we get to lose the hamster, so I think I eventually... Yeah, you can see I freeze the bass just for that reason. I don't want to roll another tier 6 and then lose the hamster that I have in the shop. So, yeah, we're playing it safe. We could have uh, greeted for some more stats, I believe. We have lots of gold with the hamsters in order to look for more of them. Here they only have a single 50-50. Which, uh, you know... Against most teams it's actually good enough to win, but against us, with multiple 50-50s, it doesn't work. We're going to transition into the 5 of a kind now. Unfortunately, now we have no longer a way of scaling, so we just have to purchase foods from the shop. Pepper though is a very good purchase, we're going to take it, some protective equipment. This is the best food in the pack, a celery gives one pet 6 HP. Unfortunately, the hamster in the back doesn't really need HP, it rather uh, would have some attack, but this one in the third position would really like some HP, so we uh, give it to that. And yeah, chocolate, apple with upside basically, we get another level, another celery, and uh, soon enough I think we'll be done with the turn. We're generating a lot of gold, which is always pretty fun. Now we are at 10, but uh, we're starting to decrease a little bit. 50 HP on this hamster and I believe the turn is about to end in a second with this last celery. So let's watch the final battle together. I will try to slow it down. People usually like me slowing it down so that uh, they can follow easier. So let's go. Mimic octopus are actually very scary. Especially when they have a sp sparrow to reduce the HP that it takes with the strawberry. 
but as you can see it's not going to be a big deal we punched right through it because of the octopus's ability it targets the lowest hp units so the peppers are automatically saved and you can see it's no close contest we get multiple strong units at the end to survive and we even had the popcorn for plan b so yeah this is going to be the build for today five hamsters extremely strong if you find the correct setup and i highly encourage you to try it if you did enjoy today's video i really hope that you like sub do all the generic stuff and i will talk to you next time take care